Hello everyone, welcome back. No idea what day it is in isolation because we've all gone a bit long. But today is Wednesday. Oh, and also, if for any of you that watched yesterday's vlog, this is my hair now that I have slept on the waves. So it looks a little bit, and I haven't brushed it this morning either, FYI, because why? <laughs> so yeah, it's it's definitely flattened a bit because obviously yesterday it was freshly broke, freshly blow dried, um, rough dried by myself, obviously not a professional blow dry. Um, so yeah, it has flattened a bit. It's not as voluminous and not as rawr. Um, so yeah, I actually really like it. I wasn't so sure when I was doing it yesterday, but then having worn it for the rest of the day, I was like, mm, I like this, I like this. And the waves are a lot more consistent than when I do the plaits, because obviously my hair is quite short. So if you've seen my hair when I do it with the plaits, it can look a little bit like borderline crimped, <laughs> which is very 80s. I mean, not that there's nothing wrong with the 80s, but you know, this I think is a lot more consistent. I mean, it does use heat, but nothing, a bit of heat protection spray cannot solve. Anyway, today the task at hand is going to be doing my spring summer wardrobe switchover. So I think it was, when was it? It was yesterday, yesterday's video. You guys would have seen, I was just taking you through some of the storage tubs that I popped up in the loft. Cause a few weeks ago before all this craziness started, I did minimize my wardrobe. So literally just these wardrobes here for anyone who missed that video, that is the only space that I have for my clothes. Well, actually that's a lie. In here, I have pants, socks, and pajamas and then I have these two drawers at the bottom of my bed which is for my loungewear which is always gem packed because I work from home. Um, so today I'm gonna do the wardrobe switch over. I have all my spring summer clothes up in the loft again in storage tubs like in the video that you saw yesterday and um, so today's video is probably gonna be a little bit longer than some of the vlogs, the daily vlogs that we've been doing in these isolation diaries just because this is quite this is quite a process for any of you that have watched me do my wardrobe switch over before. You'll know that it takes me an entire day. And now that I literally just have this space here to work with, I have a feeling it's gonna take me even longer. <laughs> but we're all in this together. And for those of you who are sat there with a cup of tea watching this, wish me luck. Right, so for anyone that hasn't seen me do this before, there are lots of these videos on my channel, by the way. Um, the first step of this entire process is to essentially remove everything from the wardrobe. I don't remove the bags just yet. I've taken to leaving them until last, like accessories and things till last. So I'm gonna remove all the clothing from the wardrobes and it's gonna kind of go on the bed, some's gonna go on the rail. I think I'm potentially going to use the rail for the items which are in my wardrobe at the moment and they're gonna stay in my wardrobe. So stuff like basic t-shirts, maybe a couple of cashmere knits, cause I'm still gonna need some cozy stuff for obviously the next few weeks of isolation, staying at home because the weather has got a little bit chilly. So let's crack on. Now that the wardrobes are empty of all the clothes, they're all out here on the bed. And I did start to put some over here on the rail, but I very quickly ran out of space. So with things like knitwear, I'm gonna have to go through those one by one and kind of decide what is gonna stay. And then I'll probably leave some of these piles on the bed because I need to go up and get the spring summer tubs from up in the loft and then kind of assess what exactly is going to go in the wardrobe and there's going to have to be a little bit of a cull as well because all my spring summer stuff that I packed up six months ago ish that would have all been stuff which not only went in here but went in some of the other storage like Simon's wardrobe so when I minimized my wardrobe a couple of weeks back 
that has now left me with less space so I'm gonna have to reassess all of the spring summer stuff that I have as well. Fun times. Right, okay, so I've just gone through absolutely everything that I had here on the bed and as you can see I've cleared quite a lot of space. So I've gone through and just pulled out the bits which I feel like I'm going to keep in the spring summer wardrobe, at least for now. Um, because of the current situation, this is a situation we haven't really been in before, it might be sort of getting close to spring weather but that doesn't necessarily mean that I can wear spring clothing because I'm spending most of the time inside. So that's why I've still got a fair bit of knitwear here because that's what I'm tending to wear around the house. Um, and obviously I've kept in some blazers and bits as well, some denim. And then over here, we don't know what the weather's going to be like. So I've kept in one dark coat and then a couple of lighter, more sort of springy colour options in there as well. Just because obviously when we all emerge from this isolation, I've got no idea what the weather's going to be like. It could turn really, really cold, in which case I'm going to need knitwear and coats. So this will probably have to be reassessed in a couple of months or a month's time when we kind of get a better gauge of the weather. But right now I have to move on to the next step, which is going up into the loft. Okay, just been in the loft and I have got these two tubs down. I actually left up some of my summer tubs of like um, holiday kind of stuff, like swimwear and I had quite a lot of basket bags. So I'm gonna leave them up in the loft for now, but otherwise I've got these two to go through. So I'm gonna go through those now and figure out what is staying and what is gonna go in another pile to be sold eventually. I literally just did a post on Instagram because obviously we can't go outside and shoot new content um, and I just keep posting some of my like older outfits from last year, the year before, whenever and I did one the other day for like some dresses because it's a bit of an ongoing joke that I never wear dresses or skirts I do but literally only in summer so I posted some throwbacks and these, literally the first tub that I've opened, the dresses that I've featured were in this tub. And these were some from the uh, post that I posted the other day. <gasps> Memories. <laughs> oh, that's a top. That's a top version of the dress. Do I need a top and a dress? Probably not. Let's pop that over there. Okay, let's start hanging the bits that I'm keeping. Right, I've started getting a bit hungry, so I'm gonna go have a bit of a lunch break, and then I'm gonna crack on. I have just remembered that I have some more storage tubs in, let me tilt you guys back on the tripod, in those top cupboards above the actual main part of my wardrobe. Because I was thinking to myself, where are all my trousers, my non-denim? Turns out I've got a storage tub up there full of trousers. Um, so I'm going to go have lunch, come back, get this finished. And actually, I think today I'm going to be really productive. And I think I'm only going to be done in like another couple of hours, which is highly unlike me. But I think part of the reason for that is having the really big storage tubs and also being able to just put the stuff and get the stuff from in the loft which is just outside there before when I used to have to put everything away I'd have to go down to the basement which is where I put all of my crap <laughs> that was our storage space before we had it redone so yeah I'm feeling very productive today right I'm back and I am now getting out my smaller tubs with so this one's got my trousers in oh you can barely see me <laughs> This one's got my trousers in, and then I've got two up there with spring summer shoes, and one, it looks like, with bags, so I'm gonna get those down in a minute as well. So many slides. 
Right, I have got this far. I've still got coats, some knits and blazers to put away in storage tubs. I've just swapped over my scarves uh, in favour of summer accessories, which are now in there. And now I've started to work on the shoes. So I had a couple of storage tubs full of summer shoes. So I've just got these ones out. And then I've already, as you can see, I've already put some trainers away. Like these are slightly more wintry trainers. And I've popped my sandals in here. Oh, it's because they haven't filled up the space that they're falling over. But yeah, I've got sandals in there. And then what else do I have? Oh, one lonely pair of trainers. So still plenty of room in here. And then that is my converse drawer. <laughs> um, so I need to now work on the shoe wall, which is, of course, behind these curtains. So we need to start going through all of these, see which ones, like boots, like these, for example, which can go away, and then pop all my espadrilles and other summer shoes back on these shelves. I've hoovered and it is just gone three o'clock. Well chuffed with myself and for anyone that usually watches these videos you'll know that I'm at this for hours and I had a bit of a late start as well. I don't think I started this until like 10-ish, 10, 10, 30-ish. So I am so chuffed but who wants a tour? Come on. Right, so nothing has changed in my loungewear drawers. They are fully stocked, but these have been fully reconfigured. So let's have a look in the first section. Oh my days, look at all that color. Look at it jumping out at us. Um, so in this one, as I explained earlier, I've kept some coats in here. I've got my spring coats, which I would obviously have out in spring summer wardrobe, which are like trench coats like this. My vintage Burberry's down there as well. And then I've kept out uh, my favorite, the curated coats, which is this one and this one in some like neutral colors. Um, I've kept a suede jacket there. That one was in my second hand haul last year. Um, and then, Another one at the back there from American Vintage, just in case, as I was saying earlier, the weather. Kept one light and one dark scarf, my acne one and my totem one. And then as you can see, I have whipped out the summer dresses. Got loads in here and this is where I tend to experiment with colour and print. I've actually got quite a few in here which were sent to me last year at the end of summer well it was actually autumn from faithful the brand so this one this one what else this one in here and unfortunately they arrived a little bit too late because summer was over so i'm going to be excited to wear those this season bags have remained the same because my bags aren't really seasonal i just wear them whenever and whatever suits the outfit however I have got my rattan wicker bags and that woven leather one out. So these are my two Loewe basket bags in there, of which I do have two of, two different sizes. Um, and then that leather one as well. And my Simon Miller bonsai bag is also hidden in there as well. All other accessories remain the same. Now let's move on, if we can close those doors 
to the second half. So in here, this is looking very organized at the moment. Um, so lots of different categories in here have condensed and some have become a bit larger. So as you can see, in comparison to before, my trousers and denim area has increased, but blazers and jackets has decreased. Same goes for knitwear. I kept out a few different bits of knitwear. I've got some more sort of spring knits in there like that one, but I've also kept out some chunkier and cozy ones like these as well, just because of the current situation. So I've got a few knits in there. Then I have my shirts, which again, some of these were kind of in there before, but I've now got all of my linen shirts in there because they're nice and breathable. And I've got a couple of other t-shirt options, which during the winter months like this one, it's like a nice sage green, they were hidden away um, and some vest tops as well. So I am now fully equipped for if we have a nice sunny day. And I know this was a bit, eager because it's definitely not mini skirt weather but I have got a couple of denim minis and my slip skirts have come back out as well in the corner and then if we move on to shoes behind the door and inside the curtain these are looking delightful I mean you guys would have seen like a full full length shot of this earlier but I'll just give you a little pan down look at all my espadrilles in there espadrille weather woohoo got my loafers in here got some trainers and then I've kept out one row of boots just in case and then out here showed you guys earlier there's no change in my shoe cupboard I've got sandals in there and then trainers, more trainers in there, and then the Converse drawer. So there we have it, three o'clock, and I have achieved something which normally takes me all day, which means I can now go and binge Disney Plus for the rest of the day. So thank you very much for watching another one of my switch over slash organization videos. I hope you enjoyed it as much as you normally enjoy them and we will see you guys tomorrow very obviously bye